Hi guys, Pete from PlasmaCutter.co.nz Just a little uh, video on Cut50 Plasma Torch Consumables Cut50 Plasma Torch Consumables Now this is a standard Cut50 Plasma Torch Or an LG40 Or a PT31 Depending on what country you are in um, They're all basically the same It's basically a Chinese torch A generic plasma torch that takes Cut50 Plasma Torch Consumables so what what these are is uh, just a standard little standard little torch like that, and it has a ceramic cup like this, just a standard ceramic cup, and then we go to the uh, consumables themselves. This is a standard tip, a swirl ring. That's for your air to go through when you pump an air out of compressor. It just makes it, it gives it a bit of a vortex. And then we have the cut 50 tip electrode, sorry. The cut 50 electrode, which is just a standard length electrode. Well, a lot of people call them extended electrodes, but um, yeah, they are extended compared to the shorter ones, obviously. And that's pretty basic, really. We'll put that in there, and then also what we have is a shorter electrode here. Here's a short one, and here's a long one. You can see the difference there, like so. And then if you're using a shorter electrode, you'll need a shorter tip, which is this tip here. And then we have another electrode as well, which is an extended electrode, which is nickel plated. Uh, nickel plated, I find they're a little bit harder. I like the nickel plated personally, but it's just a matter of opinion. And um, yeah, so if you're using a nickel plated, you can either use a nickel plated electrode and you can use a normal copper plated tip, or you can use a nickel plated electrode and use a nickel plated extendable tip. Now you can also get the shorter tips and nickel plating as well. I just haven't got one here at, the, at, at present. So what you'll find is that all these electrodes here and all these different tips will all fit in the same gun. They will all fit in this in this gun here. Like if we can go with the nickel plated and put the nickel plated in here. Nickel plated, put the original swirl ring in there. Put the nickel plated cutting tip in there and then put the original ceramic cup on there and you're ready to cut or you can do the same thing so we take all these out all right. now we put a uh, the shorter electrode which is considerably shorter see how short that is and then we put the swirl ring on and then we put the shorter the shorter cutting tip on, like so, see how short that is compared to the other one? And then we screw our original, you don't need any, any different size, to use our original ceramic cup on top of there. Screw the whole lot down and the, you're ready to cut. Now, the only disadvantage with the shorter ones is when you're, when you're trying to cut into a corner or you're trying to cut something that is not flat, then these have very little clearance between the, the things, so you can't, you can't get your torch in on the right angles, I find anyway. It's ideal, and I think they last quite good, as long as you're cutting flat steel. If you're cutting a flat lump of steel, like this for example, and you're going straight down there, just flat, it's, it cuts really, really well. But if you're trying to get in, like if you're panel beating or you're doing something like that and you're trying to cut around a wheel arch or you're trying to fit in somewhere, then they're, then they're not ideal. But for just general plate cutting, uh, they're really good value. And uh, yeah, I, I use them quite often. But if you're cutting, like I say, into corners or you want, or you've got some place where it's hard to get to, use the extendable one. So you put the extendable one in, you could, like I said, you use exactly the same swirl ring.
but you have to use the extendable tip on the extendable electrodes and you have to use the short tip on the short electrodes and screw your original cup back on and Bob's your uncle Matt and you're all ready to go so uh, yeah I hope you uh, understood what I was trying to say there and it's just a little uh, short tutorial on um, cut 50 plasma torch consumables thanks guys. hope you learned something click the links below if you're looking for consumables see you next time